Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, Dr. Samara, and I am back with another video. If you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it's what? It is free, and let's get into this video. <laughs> He want the scoop, she want the tea, she want the tea. I cannot speak, we keep it in the street, we keep it in the street. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna fit. How much it costs? It never been cheap. All right, guys. So number one thing with my trading strategy is that it follows the trending of the market. So what I mean by that is pretty much wherever direction that the market is going into, that's pretty much what type of trading opportunities you're going to actually look for within the actual market with the pair that you're using to trade so the very important thing is to get an understanding of what is the overall day looking like as far as the trend because that's technically going to give you an idea of what type of trading moves you need to make within the market so starting off we're looking at the day chart right and i like to zoom out as y'all can see already, um, I've already worked my magic. And then look at EURUSD. It's already hitting its higher highs. Um, please disregard Samaya's um, voice in the background if you can hear her. Um, but right now, I like to look and see about the trend. As you can see here, ultimately, looking at the day chart, it's an uptrend. So what does that mean? That tells you that you need to be looking for more buy opportunities. In fact, that should be the only thing you're looking for when you're actually looking for trade opportunities because you know overall the day is in a uptrend. And then this is vice versa if you're looking for a sell opportunity if the trend was actually going down, right? But with this trade itself, with this pair itself, the market is overall going into an uptrend. To give you guys an example of what it would look like if you were looking for a downtrend opportunity, this is basically what it would have been like. And this was in the past, right? So let's say the market was actually going down in a downtrend on the day. So technically you will be looking for more sell opportunities rather than buys. Alrighty, so we know that the day chart is looking for an overall buy opportunity. This is the day chart, right? Now I like to make sure, because I want to make sure that my day, my four hour and my one hour charts are all aligned when it comes to my trends. So looking at the day chart, we, we notice that it's an uptrend. Now we're going to look at the four hour chart. We also know that is the uptrend as well. I'm just showing you an example. This is an uptrend here. So we know that this is an uptrend, so that's good. That's a second check mark. Now we need to look and make sure that the one hour has the uptrend. And as you can see here, it is also an uptrend as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and delete that. Now, the only thing guys, the only thing that does not require for everything to be in alignment is going to be your 15 minute chart. So again, the first thing when using my strategy, the first thing is, hey, let me see what's the trend like on the day chart. If it's an up or a down trend, I need to know if all of my other um, time frames are aligned as well. If your four hour and your one hour chart are not aligned with the day chart, that means that the market is i.e. in consolidation or this is a reason for you not to trade within that pair for that market because something is up maybe with news, maybe something changed the volume of the market itself. And I highly recommend for you to not get into that market because nine times out of 10, it will not go the way that you want it to go. So again, we wanna make sure that our day chart, four hour and one hour trends are all alignment. Uh, or all aligned. However, our 15 minute chart does not have to be in alignment with the other older time frames. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because your 15 minutes more so like that entry price point that you're looking for to actually get into the market. Okay. So bam, we're on our one hour. Um, as I already mentioned to you guys before the 15 minute does not matter. So now what I'm going to actually do is I'm actually going to go back to my four hour chart and now I'm going to 
actually start implementing support and resistant lines. I like to go ahead and put my support and my resistant lines on my four hour, my one hour, and then my 15 minute if I'm looking for a complete um, target. If I'm looking for a closer target to get to because I'm anxious or I'm trying to make some quick money real quick, I like to use my 15 minute chart as well. Um, you don't have to use the 15 minute chart. You can always just stop at the one hour and look at what type of entry level you want to get into um, based on the one hour chart. That can be your entry level. Um, but if you are wanting a tad bit closer um, price entry point to get into, whether you're doing a market execution or a pending order transaction, um, or I wouldn't say transaction, but a pending order altogether, that is typically what you're going to use, which is the 15 minute chart. Alrighty guys. And so the next thing that, um, by identifying your support and your resistant lines, what I do is I find my flat tops, flat bottoms, flat tops, flat bottoms. I find a smaller candle next to a larger candle, um, because sometimes they may have the flat top, flat bottom next to those type of candles. Um, and what I mean by that is going to be this one right here. This is a smaller candle with a larger candle next to it. And this is also known as the Harami candle. Um, and then I also look at wicks. So what I mean by wicks is you see that these are not completely flat tops. They have your wicks here. So I still count that as an opportunity for me to put in place as a support and resistance. guys so you may be wondering like dang dr samir you got a lot of lines like it's too many lines for me guys this is my strategy this is what works for me so this is how i make my coins you can actually ask my uh, vip signal trading group they will say the same thing like this is literally how we make our coins like and it works okay so if you don't like all the extreme amounts of levels or lines in general you can do something else or find a strategy that works best for you again every trader is it trades differently every trader trades differently all together and what works for one trader may not work for you so but just give it a try and see if it does work for you so um yes it does have a lot of lines however this is what makes the profits all right so we're on the 15 minute chart. And as I already mentioned to you guys before, I'm looking for a buy opportunity. So pretty much since I've already done the hard work of putting and placing my support in my resistant lines, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in for a buy opportunity. The buy opportunities that I look for and that I always implement is going to be my buy stop. So what I'm actually going to be looking for, for a buy stop, based on the resistant line, since I've seen that in the past that there was some potential of, of the market actually going back into this direction because it's already hit this area up here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to have a price entry point. And let me actually write this down so you guys can actually see it here. So on this line right here, I'm actually going to have a price entry. This will be my price entry here. So that's my price entry. My price entry is actually going to be at the number of 1.11607. 1.11607. 1 okay, so that's my price entry. Now, the type of TPs that I'm looking for, because everybody's TP or everybody um, likes to get a little bit more money. Okay, so I like to send at least three different TPs. So this is the type of TPs that I'll be sending off to, right? So this will be the first one here for my traders who are a little bit more conservative and just want to meet their 10, 10 pips and dip, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. The second, the second TP is actually going to be at this line, which this will be considered TP2. And then the third TP 
just like this, guys, is going to be your TP3. Very simple, very easy. Now, at my price entry of it being 1.11607, my TP1 is going to be 1.11632. My TP2 is going to be 1.11672. And then my last TP, which is the third TP, is going to be 1.11716. Those are all of the TP profits that I am looking for as far as my trade, right? Now, you may be wondering, well, Samara, how do I go about when it comes to my actual stop loss? Stop loss is going to be just, just the same. Now, there's some people who is only okay with losing $20. So depending on the price, um, as well as the, um, what is it, as well as your lot size that you're using, this is going to determine what $20 may mean by with the stop loss, right? However, the best thing that you can possibly do, guys, is really using your resistant line here. That could be your stop loss right here. And I'm actually going to put it right here. Stop loss is here. I'm just put SL for short. Stop loss is right there. That's going to be at 1.11578. Your price entry is right here at 1.11607, right? So your stop loss will be 1.11578 and that was with the resistant you may consider hey i think i want a little bit room or cushion with my stop loss you can put it right here where i see a smaller candle and a bigger candle which is the harami style candlestick and then that could be your second stop loss and i'm actually going to put that right here this will be your sl oops, sl2 so that's your sl2 guys so ultimately, guys, this is my strategy. This is what works for me. And honestly, if you haven't joined the VIP Trading Signal Group, guys, we have been doing spectacular. I have sent out six trading, trading ideas, six trading ideas, guys, on Thursday of last week. Six trading ideas, okay? And all of those six TPs, that I sent out, hit. Everyone was able to make profits. And if you were able to take all of those trade ideas, you hit all six trades and made back the $50 that you invested for the month of September. September was a great month for us all. We were hitting numbers, guys. So again, this is the strategy that I use in my trading signal group literally the most easiest and simplest strategy that i've ever used and it's been going very well so guys this is how you can literally instantly change your a hundred dollars into thousands by using this simple easy trading strategy if you're someone who is a mom if you're someone who is extremely busy and all you got is 12 minutes to be on your phone for and to get some trades in, this is the strategy for you. And it's a pending order. So if it doesn't hit that entry area, then you're good. You didn't lose no money or nothing. I wish I would have known this strategy when I first got started in Forex because guys, I probably would have been up a million long time ago. Up a million long time ago. Do you hear me? Up a million a long time ago, guys. For real, by using this strategy. So go ahead, if you haven't already, Rewatch this video if you have to and go into the books, guys. Go onto your TradingView app and start, start learning it. Start implementing it into your day-to-day -day basis and you will see a huge change with your trading abilities. But I hope that this video is very informative and very educational for you all. If you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it is what? It is free and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.